Okay, made it a little further than the last time I recorded uh, playing, and I am at the top of the tree. It's gotten taller, and I'm making big branches coming off the top. I think they need to go up even taller, and I'll make some more branches. Put some leaves and sticks and stuff. Yeah. Starting to look like a tree. Let me show you. Mm-hmm. Gonna fly up here. I uh, decided to tackle this. I was trying to do it like little by little and that just wasn't working. So I built the scaffolding all the way around it like a professional. And still need to, I made the branches and then realized, oh, they need to be like twice as long. And then I realized they needed to be thicker. I still have this one to work on. So finish that one. And then, 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 probably make these even a bit taller. Yeah. And we'll see what we go from there. All right, so let's get started. So I figured that these needed to be, these are like, about 15 out right now, but they need to be like twice as further out um, so this is yeah this is really exciting not really <laughs> process um, yeah it's getting there so we'll make this back here the base is gonna be a bit wider and with more roots coming down and I think these branches can go up a little bit more. Made a little tree farm down there. Been cutting trees down like crazy. But I am I am locking this a lot more. <laughs> now it's starting to look like a tree. JC thought maybe his was too big, but as you can see, it's not. Hmm. How are we gonna do this, guys? We just make it go like this, maybe more. Do we just go up more? Like this. And then over here and over here. All right, let me get these going in vertically, and then we will think about making them even bigger, higher, longer. Okay, I've I filled in the branches inside and I am liking that. I think that's probably plenty considering the other things that we're going to add to it, as you can see here. I've got some vertical ones, some horizontal ones. I thickened them up a bit and then, so now we just need to decide whether we want to bring the canopy out further if it looks too short. Let's go over here and look from here. This was a good vantage point for that. Uh, let's not miss. Okay, good, perfect. <laughs> hmm. And let's go up a little higher here. Looking down on it. Mm hmm. So, scale wise, do we want to bring them out? I mean, Let's go get some more logs and try it out. I guess it hurt. can't hurt. It just means it's going to need more leaves. Here we are so far. I am pretty much think I'm going to stop. I, I keep making these longer. I like these ones that look shorter. Those are the more vertical ones. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I could keep, just keep going on <laughs> with this. Uh, you know, just keep adding blocks, keep adding blocks. And working again more on the roots here. We've got some pale looking roots coming down now. Um, and here, this little entryway. Put a door on here and worked on this some more. And as I was building the floors and making the vines go up, I decided just, I was had like four sides of the vines. Um, I decided in the interest of space, Usability to just have one side of the vines. In the tree, as you can see, there's more coloration. 
on the sides here. Uh, cover there. And maybe one there. Okay. It's fine. And I made this entrance. Some doors, try different doors, and this is what I liked the best. They're kind of sticking out here because I wanted to have them open on the inside, both of them. And I've just been putting coloration on the, on the trunk of the tree. As you can see, I extended it. It's quite a bit taller. It gets narrower at the top. And then I've been putting the root systems, building those up around the sides, down on the hill, over here, and on the other side. I don't think I've ever used so many logs before. <laughs> see the little doorway yeah before it was really blending in but when I put the doors in it made it pop more so you can actually see that it's an entrance way and so the roots coming down there and down there before I was this was all one big glump and I didn't really like that so I divided it into two coming down this side and then it's coming down the other side I'm pretty happy with that I like it but I'm gonna add leaves that's probably the next stage so we'll see how big it gets then. And then I'll start on the structures and the functionality of the tree, besides just being a tree, of course. And um, I can show you, we can go, you can look at it from the side. And let's see if I can get to the top. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Actually, <laughs> that's amazing. I didn't take any damage, bang anything. That's how I usually stop. It's like, okay, I'm just going to bang into this and then I'll stop on, I'll be close to where I want to be. There's a lot of floors here. <laughs> Down the heart of the tree. And here we are at the bottom. Shift to go up when you're off the ground, right? And then when you just put it down, go straight out. If you're on the ground and you have it on the ground and you want it to go straight out instead of straight up, you click, instead of clicking on the bottom, just clicking here, you shift click and it will put it down. Does it do it the way that you're facing? opposite way of your facing? Yes. So, if you shift click, it will put it in toward you, right? So, that's quite a bit. 